Okay, so the premise of what's getting ready to happen is we're getting ready to divide 99 by 12. What does that even mean? This means that I'm going to start off with 99 of whatever, let's say dots. I'm going to break them up into groups of 12. What I could do is I could actually draw out 99 dots and then circle groups of 12, but who has time for that? So what we're going to do is we're going to use long division to break this down. But if you don't know your multiplication facts, this is going to be a little bit difficult for you. So what I have my students do is list out multiples of 12 so that they can specifically see how many groups of 12 will go into 99. So I'm going to do that right now. Remember, your answer to this problem is actually going to be how many groups it is. Okay? The answer is the number of groups. So why not list out the groups so that you can see specifically what's getting ready to happen? One group of 12 is 12. Two groups of 12 is 24, and so forth. If you do not know these numbers, all you're doing is adding 12 each time. Thank you. Okay. So these are my groups of 12. I've circled the groups. The numbers that are circled are my actual answers that I'm going to be putting on top of my problem. So now I'm going to go ahead and start my long division process. I am now looking for the group number that comes as close to 99 as possible but does not go over because it's not exact. The number that does that is 8. Boom. 12 goes into 99 8 times. I can pull out 8 whole groups of 12 from this and I, this is what I'm doing now. I'm pulling out 8 whole groups. If I did that, I would pull out 96, subtract it, I would have 3 left over. Now, if this was elementary, that would be a remainder. But since this is not elementary, this is going to be eight total groups with three out of 12 left over. That is how you turn that into a fraction. But what if you wanted to make it a decimal? We teach students that we turn it into a number that looks like money. If I add a decimal in zeros at the end, that does not change the fact that that is still 99, right? Now I can bring down these zeros and act as if that decimal is not even there. I can just keep going, right? So now I'm gonna put 12 into 30. Come as close to 30 without going over, that's two. If I pull two groups of 12 out of this, I'm pulling out 24, right? Subtract, you get six, bring down the next zero. So now the last thing I'm gonna do is see how many groups of 12 go into 60, and if you go down your row, boom, it's gonna be an exact number, which is five, right? As Soon as I get the exact amount of groups that I'm taking out, I'm finished. So the answer of 99 divided by 12 as a fraction actually simplifies to eight and one fourth. As a decimal, it's 8.25.